What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Game On, where we're just gaming on. So excited to be playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, man, it's been excellent so far. So far, the intro, the cinematics have been excellent, beautiful, the music, really fitting, seamless. The sound engineering on it is probably one of the best aspects of the game. So far, the only jank I've seen in the first hour of gameplay here is a little bit of facial animation jank. Now, let's learn all about pawns and everything. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. So, quick recap in the last episode. We got introduced. The very first scene, we were like the king of the country. Then the dragon spoke to us, or what I assume is the dragon's voice, somebody's voice. They told us that they were going to show us the reality. And then we woke up in an encampment, an excavation site, which was almost like a prison encampment. <clears throat> that was attacked by a Medusa. We fought them off and then escaped on a griffin that was shot down out of the air. We landed, survived the fall. We've got our pawn, Rook, with us. And we were found by this guy, Justin, who brought us to this encampment. Now here we are with a rift stone and we're talking to this lady here, Luxa. Let's see what she has to say. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Tell me of pawns. We are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. The soulless. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power, we are crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Okay. Tis the name given to fate's chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Nice. Rift crystals. That's how we buy pawns and stuff like that. Okay, who are you? I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Oh, for sure. Okay, so let's hire Hazel here. I think Hazel, Hazel, whatever his name is. Arisen detail, Capcom level one fighter. Really? But he uses a bow? But he's a fighter? No, 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 he's a ranger. Okay, we're gonna hire him. Delighted to meet you. And I think we should be able to get one more pawn also. That guy's a little bit small. Now I want one more mage. I always rock two mages. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask what you would No. So let's go inside the rift and see what's up here. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Border Watch Riftstone. Oh, that's sick how we went in there, guys. There was no loading screen or anything. It just seamlessly transitioned. There's no way. That that was dope. Ooh. Okay, so here we can get pawns that are way higher level than us, but they cost way more crystals than we have. Although, like in the last game, the original, it was really hard to get a high level pawn because it would be like millions of rift crystals. I hope it's much more manageable here. Hopefully you can farm some crystals and get some higher level pawns if you need to at some point. No, we're not leaving the rift. Okay. Saber, that's a sick name. Okay, we can get her. She's a level 5. We're going to go ahead and get her. The cool little kid's staff. Okay, let's... Hire you. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must be stipulated a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. 
Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. When setting a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. It is also possible to trade with other Arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn request objective. Oh, so this is almost like... You, you can barter and trade stuff. So you have patience with me, Master. I've shared all I know. So does she have pawn badge? Does she have a quest for me then? No, I've still just got the one quest there. Okay, but let's see what they say. If you want to do a pawn quest, oh, okay. Travel together for a day and night. Except I don't have a wakestone shard. Huh. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to get into that once we get some more items, get farther in the gamer, and we get more access to it. And ex Wait, where's Muad'Dib? Okay, there they all are. I've lost them for a minute. So this is our party, guys. Two mages. One ranger, one thief, no fighter. Got me. This is going to be a total dex run. Whoa, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. You guys see that? I busted out my weapons, took a couple swings, and these guys got furious. Nothing. My bad. Okay, so we can't do that. <laughs> Let's explore a little bit here and see if there's anything we can gather. At this point in the game, we need to gather everything we can. Craftable, consumable. We've got no armor. There's got to be some kind of armor here. Ah, oh, an armorer. Sure. Okay, here's our armory. Trusty sword. We can't use that. So, items are class-specific, vocation-specific. And you can change it later on. I'm not sure about in this game, but I'm assuming you're going to be able to. Because you could in the first one. So, criteria. It's the same as the ones we have right now. Oh, yeah. Yep, these are all the same items that were in the first game. The fluted bow, the trusty sword is from the first game. Ooh, chainmail. Look how sick that looks. Explorer boots, woodland boots, trusty sword and shield. Now, I got the um, download, not the downloadable content, but the extra content, the upgraded version of it, the explorer's pack or adventurer's pack or something like that. Let's just talk to her and go see if we can find those items because those are going to be some good items in there. Oh, okay. Would that the gold would only rain down on my head. <laughs> ah, I hear you. Okay, let's go talk to the actual armor. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Because we should be able to upgrade what our weapons. Need of my skills? Tarkov. Yeah. You need, I'll have it done. So we can give them gifts too. Let's give them a gift to these goblin horn. Impressive. Yeah, I killed him. <clears throat> you will doubtless encounter dozens of people throughout your adventure. Their disposition towards you will vary. But you can increase their affinity for you by treating them kindly, heeding their requests, and giving them gifts. Of course, not just any old gift will do. Everyone has a preference. You must select the right gift for the right person in order to, for their affinity to improve. Gift giving will only increase the recipient's affinity once per day. Oh, okay, so you can't just like max out somebody's affinity just like in an instant. You gotta wait. So that's cool. So you must get a reward for affinity. If they're gonna make you wait like that, make you earn it. Okay. But now I must not be able to upgrade my weapons quite yet. If you've a commission for me, I'll fain take it on. Huh. 
No, I want you guys to give me some free stuff. Oh, look at that. Copper ore, copper ore. I like that. I like how you can barely see it. It's faint. Didn't even notice it before. Now I bet you our encumbrance is gonna be. Housework's the hardest work there is. You. Encumbrance is gonna be a much bigger deal in this game than the first one, I imagine. Okay, so where is my stuff? There's a ladder here. After you were in. Autosave data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in this world. It is recommended that you rest at ends at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save data. So do I not just have a save option? Save and continue. Okay, cool. That's uh, one of the best things in this game. And one of the worst things in this game is that there's only one save file, it looks like. <laughs> so, per usual, which is like the first one. Okay, cool. That's so cool how you can just like, you don't have to go into your pawn's inventory, transfer items over to you, because your pawn will pick items up as you play. You can just straight up use them right out of his inventory and right out of your storage too. Wow, this is a lot of options. Holy cow. Okay, anyways, won't get wrapped up in the menus. So this is the inn, lantern oil. So you do have to refill your lantern with oil. It does run out. Cool. So I wonder what the purpose of these benches are. Oh man, I just wanna jump off the edge into the brine. But I don't wanna take our first death like that. We're gonna go as long as we can without dying. So is that the symbol of an inn? A hearth? A chest be hiding. Boy there, you seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Cool. Resting at inns. Staying in an inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge. No idea what that is. Which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. So in the first game... First game, when you're adventuring out in the world, you take damage and you can only recover a certain amount of health. You lose a little bit of health overall. When resting in an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when traveling far afield. So we can change this to night and day and all that business. We don't have any money, or it costs zero gold to rest on this one. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you... Aged Scrag of Beast. It's going to take me a while to not hit that button for the menu, because that was the original menu. Who picked up that Aged Scrag of Beast? Was it you? Grown flavorful with age. Consume it to recover a small amount of health. So we used to have to do that, like give it to me like that, and then I could use it out of my inventory, but I think we can just use it out of their inventory now. Uh huh. A treasure chest. Where? Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Where? So my storage chest was at the inn in the first game. I see a chest on the map over here. Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. Uh-huh, Joshua. Let's rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. 
Huh. Make for the lodgings. We will. We will. So it obviously wants you to spend a night there before you keep going, but we're gonna explore just a little bit, so be careful running around next to these cliffs. Come on. Ooh, camera jank right there. That was harsh. This chest is empty. Damn it. So one of those pawns picked that up, but I didn't catch it. Muad'Dib's got it, and it tells me what they are. No, he didn't pick it up. Maybe there wasn't anything there. Let's go up here. How do we interact? Is it circle? Yep. So like I said, I'm playing this on a PlayStation 5. Ooh, we can shimmy up that ladder fast. If your plane arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ear long. Ooh. That guy's kind of a D-bag. Wonder what his deal is. What's... Yeah, anyways, okay, I don't know what the deal with that chest is. This looks as good as Hmm. Ooh, this is cool. Ripened Harp Smud. Harp Smud's good because it heals stamina and health. No real weapons laying around here. You know, I don't see my storage chest anywhere. It's, it, it says it's right over here. Or is there a chest up there is what it's telling me. Uh-huh. Tell me the chest is here. Fulgurus Lord. A grimoire that casts a spell upon reading. Usable even by those incapable of magic. Invokes high leaven, a lightning spell. Cool. So we can cast spells even if we're not a mage by using items like that. Okay, so let's rest here, America. Hoy there. You seem well. My pa always used to say that I, being armed, is better. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Never for a moment did I doubt you'd grow stronger someday. Leveled up. That is quite a relief. They do say good things come to those who wait. Because we completed a quest, so we got some experience. Muad'Dib leveled up. Make for Melv. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. See if he has it. You'd like to change your location. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, our priority quest has been reset. We also have vocation guide. Oh, and we can change vocation right away. All manner of vocational procedures can be carried out in the Guild Hall of Vocation Guild. Changing vocation. If you have unlocked a vocation, you can change it at any time. Unlocking new vocation requires discipline, which is accrued when defeating enemies and completing quests. Each vocation trains different skills. Augment. Okay, let's read this. And you will be able to learn new skills as you rank. Within your vocation rises... Oh, excuse me, let me reread that. Each vocation trains different skills, and you will be able to learn new skills as your rank within your vocation rises. Learning skills requires discipline. Core skills can be employed from the moment they are acquired, but weapon skills must be equipped before they can be used. Okay? These are special abilities, augments, that can be equipped regardless of your current vocation. Augments are required by spending discipline and are active from the moment they are equipped. You can equip up to six augments at once. A broader variety of augments will become available to you as your vocation rank increases. Okay, so those are cool. Ooh. It even shows you the augments you can have. So I need 100 DEP to unlock the mage. 100 for the fighter. And we have that. But we're going to save it right now. Okay, we're not even going to read those till we, we have access to to them, to upgrading them. 
require and equip skills. Okay, so Biting Wind dashes past the target with blades extended, followed by further slashes when using the same attack on contact. Press the assigned button to activate. Press it again to unleash the attack. Cool, and then we can pick which one of these it goes to. I like square, that's fine. Need 200 to do these ones. Enkindle Blade looks like fire damage. Shadow Cloak <gasps> turns me, camouflages me. Enables the user to blend in their surroundings. That is so cool. Okay. Let's see about our storage and withdrawing the items. I have no items in here? Where are all my items that I paid that extra money for? <laughs> Do I not start out with any of them? So I thought it was like a weapon and stuff like that. Okay. Always a pleasure. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Okay, we don't need to hire any new pawns. We've got our party. So I'm super confused on where my items are, but we're going to continue on our journey, guys. Just keep rocking and rolling. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to Colden. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? But I can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. Of course, here's our first real mission, guys. Let's get it on. We're gonna go rescue this guy. And a cardos as well, I'm sure. Settling, setting a priority quest. You can select a quest to prioritize from among those you've accepted. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as priority. A warning regarding quest progression. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Ooh, that's interesting. Taking on multiple quests at once with a risk of being unable to act in time this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quest and taking on new ones. So basically, once this is what this is telling me is that once I activate a quest, I'm on a timer. I need to complete that as soon as possible because it sets in motion maybe NPCs like this one. This guy's going to go and be attacked by some monsters in the woods. Probably maybe if we don't get it done in the next day, he's probably going to die for a certain set of time. So that all makes sense. Let us depart with due haste. Let's go. Let's go after him. So we're going to set this as priority quest. To a monster, new recruits are simply easy pickings. As such, sending an untrained soldier into the heart of a harpy flock was probably not the wisest choice. Go to Ricardo's aid and see it that the recruits survives his first brush with the harpies. Well, that's crazy how detailed that is. Now, how to set it. Square sets it as priority quest. Okay, we've set that as our priority quest. Look at that. There was no loading screen to that. That's crazy. Follow me, master, if you would. I'll bring you to the one you see. Harps mud. Ooh. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Ripen harps mud. So those are good. So we don't have any really good weapons or armor yet. We just started out. I'll figure out where those weapons and armor are that I, I bought that was part of the different extra adventurous pack. Different pawns. One whom I serve preferred to have beastrons for alloy. Pawn commands. There are four commands that Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions. And their effects vary according to circumstances in which they are used, such as when, it, when in or out of combat. 
The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and course of action in various situations. Go! Instruct pawns to act independently of the arisen. During combat, it directs pawns to spread out across the battlefield. It can also be used to request assistance carrying out an action. To request guidance to a location or to instruct a pawn to resume guidance that has been interrupted. To me. Instructs pawns to approach the arisen during combat. It directs pawns to fight by the arisen's side. Wait. Instructs pawns to remain where they are until they are given a different command. During combat, it directs pawns to cease attacking and focus on aiding the arisen directly. Help. Instructs pawns to prioritize support, healing, and recovery. Nice. Give me some fire. Dude, that was sick. Fire looks so sick on my swords. Look at that. Or my daggers. And that fire that she shot out looks so cool. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. They sure are. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Okay, let's go find this guy. We're on a timer here. I can't just be wandering off in the woods with some of these quests I see. We gotta keep that in mind. Ooh. And sprinting, we'll use stamina. Ooh, here are the harpies. Look at that. He was right right around here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These guys are passed out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I'm getting attacked. It's not good. Okay, they're healing me. Wake up. More idea leveled up. Good, good. All right. So because I had two mages and an archer, took them down quick. We saved your butt, dude. Is that all of them? You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I. I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. All right. Shall we report back now? Report back. Yep. You guys pick up all that stuff. See how my pawns will like pick up green wars and stuff like that. You gotta keep an eye on them too. Because if in the original game, if a pawn that wasn't yours picked up an item, you know, it wasn't your main pawn, what's going on up there? You guys throwing stuff? Let's get it on. Come here. That's so cool how they chuck stuff like that. Man, so my heavy attack kind of staggered him a little bit there. My light attack, when I hit him, it staggered me because I wasn't strong enough to get through to him. Because he had too much armor, I guess, or something. Cool. Anyways, like I was saying with the pawns and items, if they picked up like a really cool sword or a really cool weapon, or an item that you really wanted, or a key item, because they could pick up key quest item, and then they got killed, that weapon went away with them if you didn't take it out of their inventory. So you gotta keep an eye on them in the first one. I'm not sure if we have to do that here. Hail, friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. It was a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. No, he definitely wouldn't have. No way. Too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. Ooh, a thousand gold. Nice. So that's one night at the end. <laughs> I leveled up too, level four guys. Ordeals of a new recruit. Stamina's up, health went up, strength. Okay. 
back to the Dragon's Wake, being our priority quest. Shall we see where it leads? Perhaps new discoveries await us above. What, the ladder? Which ladder are you... What ladder are you talking about? I mean, they want me to go up here. There's that exclamation mark. Maybe I go up here and I look around. Put your sword away, you're gonna get in trouble here. Gosh. Those guards were pissed last time I took those out. See, he's coming down to say something to me right now. So there's a gate right there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at here. That bridge and that next castle down there. That must be the next spot we're supposed to go to. Okay, we can leap off of ladders. That's excellent. Ooh. <gasps> Damn, that much just killed us? That's our first death, guys, right here in the village. I wonder if that auto saved or not. If we have to do that whole mission again. You can set pawn quests for your main pawn to complete. If the player who hires your pawn completes the quest, you will receive a reward. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to kill us. I mean, hmm. I wonder if we had more armor on, if the fall damage would have been less. But anyways, just spawned us right back here. That's why it's always important to hard save instead of just auto saving. So we've learned that fall damage is a real thing. It is really dangerous here. And you don't have to be that high up to die. Cause I wasn't that high up. Like if I jumped off of that roof there to the ground, it would probably almost kill me. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle. I wonder why they're coming up to me like that. Cause I didn't click anything. What else you got to say now that I did that mission? What are you up to? Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. Rift stones are gates. That by their power have we crossed. The same stuff. Well. Same stuff. Make so I don't want to rest at the end yet, because that's going to cost me all my money. We, we've had a hard time procuring goods. What with all the monsters lurking on the roads of light. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. And in the note, and he'll take care of the rest. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> we'll do this quest too, guys. Um, but I'm not really clicking on anything. I'm just running around and these guys are talking to me, rather than me talking to them. I think that's kind of a cool way to do that. What? What? What is going on here? That was weird. I moved that box and those guys started tripping out. You. Master, my heart's no. I've got wares of every. Nice traveling merchant. Modest camping kit. A kit that can be used to set up camp at suitable locations. Inexpensive and lightweight, but liable to collapse if attacked by monsters. That's interesting. Smoke beacon entices harpies. Well, there's some cool new items. Ring of accrual. Ring imbued with power. Slightly increases the maximum amount of weight that you can carry. So that's a really cool ring. So right off the bat, there's a cool item you can grind for. Let's see what he has to say. Anything? Mayhap I can help, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your... Still don't have any of that stuff that... Vocation? Come see me anytime. Ooh, I don't want to rest because it's going to cost Ooh. half my money. <laughs> okay, so let's get about this next quest here. The Provisioner's Set. The Provisioner's Plight. Oft what matters is that the work, wait, excuse me, oft what matters is that the work gets done, not the hands that can do it. When saddled with another's task, you can but hope that the trust you earn will make it worth the effort. Okay, we're going to seek out Marcus. 
Allow me to guide you, Master. Oh, he's back this way. I know the person you're looking for. Okay. So she's. The reports we need to deliver, do we not? She's done this quest. Let us find the intended recipient. A simple word of thanks would make our labors feel worthwhile. I knew it to be so. Mm, this is a, some kind of training area. Well, there's a chest over here, though. Chest. Waking powder. I can hardly wait to open it. <laughs> Not all chests contain treasure, you know. No? Monster Fang. I don't know what that's for. Sir, how can I be You can't. Okay, so we must have to go right outside and then go north right away. Let's go find this guy and give him his provisioner set list. We've got to be careful jumping off ledges. That's going to take me a while to get over because in the first game, fall damage wasn't that bad. That was gnarly. Ladder can take us to new heights. After you arisen. Come to think of it. Oh, there's another way out. Private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. <laughs> be sure to keep that in mind. Interesting, huh? Well, let's stay on the beaten path here. These quests are all kind of timed, I feel like. So we can't get too distracted by stuff, guys. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Hmm. He's up here on the ledge. Hey, what happened? Assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. I ain't done yet. Boy, did you need something? Yep, I got a letter for you, buddy. This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Let's have a look then. Why? He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? <laughs> I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. Yeah, okay. So, you can combine two materials to create a new item. When combining, you can either choose the materials individually or select a combination that you have previously tried. You can also prioritize the inventory you want materials to be taken from first. The Arisens or their pawns. Yep. Might we procure such a thing? So, you deliver the provisioner's note to Marcus. Procure some harp's mud and salubrious droughts. Salubrious droughts is what I'm gonna call it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna follow you. Go ahead. That's cool how she was waving to me. Look at that. Now she's leading the way. Let's follow her. We're also going to see what it says for setting our quests here. Yeah. You lead the way, Mer America. Dude, that is sick. See how she's leading me? Pray, follow me. She, she I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. Dude, this is sick. If she really leads me there. To where we're supposed to be looking for and finding. The items on this list can be crafted by combining certain materials. Oh, she's right, for sure. And this is the area. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? Harp smud, we got that. Oh no, no, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. It's in this area, the stuff we need. I like how it doesn't take you directly to it. You kind of got to look around a certain area to find the items you need. That's really cool. Really interactive. I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. Harp Spud. Harp Spud. The items on this list can be crafted by combining certain materials. And I happen to know where they can be found. Is that with that Me rock? I know the general destination. Is on the map there. Well, now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. Harps, bud. What is like this? This is rock formation on the map. I'll just pick this up. I 
something up there, I think. Hmm. So did I get enough of them yet? Gather three harpsbud and two salibus brew droughts for Marcus. Okay, so let's see what it takes to craft one of those. Materials. So I can't just combine stuff out here? Oh, combine. Okay, square. Okay, so grain wash plus grapes is how we do that. Our results are awaiting. Cool. What say we make our report? Yep, so we got the stuff that he needs. We found the harvest mud over there where America took us, which was really cool. <clears throat> and we had green wash and we had grapes, and the grapes were also over there. And we were able to make the salubri salubrious brews. Yeah, we have. Here. Got you one of those. Huh? Okay, so... That's interesting. Brilliant. That was, that was interesting. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Waking powder. Cool, man. You gave Marcus the provisions. I thought it might come in useful. What'd you just give me? Report back to Joffrey. I don't know what my pawn just gave me. Okay, so we're just getting out, getting done some early, or excuse me, getting out and getting some early quests done here. What, I can't, I can't use my green wash? Why not? Oh, my health won't go up any higher because it's depleted from being damaged. Now I need to rest in an inn for it to go up all the way again. Anyways, we're just getting done some quests in the beginning here. Getting some experience, getting the lay of the land, getting familiar with the controls. And yes, we are going to report, Marika. You're on top of it. Lovely. Look at the flag drifting in the wind. You can almost feel the lazy breeze. Hey, buddy, I did it. Boy, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. Uh -huh. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need. Of yeah, 400 experience, a dried fruit, and 900 gold. And we gained a or our pawn, Muad'Dib, gained a level. We didn't. Oh, I like that. That's sick. So, I think we're going to end the live stream here, guys. We're going to come back tonight around 6 o'clock and stream again. And continue on. Appreciate you guys watching the channel. Game on. We're just keep on gaming on. I'm lucky and loving Dragon's Dogma 2 so far. So far, yeah, this game's an A so far. Now, we'll see how it develops, how the story plays out, how the monster battles are how everything else works, but so far it's going to be really in-depth and really interesting. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.